Hi, I'm Jack Dulesky. I am the manager of the Roger B. Chaffee Planetarium at Grand Rapids Public Museum. And I'm here today to let you know that you can see the International Space Station when it flies overhead. Uh, it's coming up Wednesday, April 1st at 9.12 p.m. and Sunday, April 5th at 9.18 p.m. are two awesome days where it will be very visible in the sky. It's actually pretty easy to see the International Space Station if you, if you know the time. It's by far the biggest satellite and it's very close to the Earth, so it is pretty easy to spot in the sky. I'm going to include a link to NASA's Spot the Station website, which gives you uh, up-to-date information about good times uh, that you can see the International Space Station fly overhead. So NASA has a lot of great online resources, like Spot the Station. Another great one is to follow NASA astronauts on Twitter. I really enjoy seeing photographs of the Earth taken from outer space by IS astronauts. Uh, it's just a really cool, unique perspective of the planet we live on, and I think the astronauts probably really enjoy it too. They don't really get a lot of downtime. This is actually a picture of Christina Cook pointing her camera out the cupola at the Earth below. Christina Cook was actually born in Grand Rapids, and she recently broke the record for more time in outer space than, than any other woman, 328 continuous days. I can't imagine what it would be like to live in outer space for almost a year, but if you want to learn what that's like, you can follow NASA astronauts where you can see uh, photos of the Earth, but also uh, pictures of day-to-day -day life, updates on science experiments they're working on, and other really cool stuff like that. In addition to NASA astronauts, you can also follow Jessica Meir and Drew Morgan. They are up there right now, and they post pretty frequently as well. Go ahead and check it out.